Good afternoon, and welcome to St. Jude the Apostle Parish as we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Even as we come here to celebrate the Eucharist, the burdens of life may weigh on us. In today's Gospel, Jesus encourages us, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Let us turn to the Lord for comfort, for his yoke is easy and his burden light. Please join in the singing of our opening hymn, Lead Me, Lord, number 739 in the Breaking Bread Book. That is number 739. Please rise. afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves for this most holy Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your yoke is easy and your burden light. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting.
O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen role, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's readings can be found on page 175 in the front part of the Breaking Bread book. That is page 175. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So 
up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, if the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you, Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your, has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, one of the most comforting passages in all of the four Gospels is the short Gospel passage we heard today. Anyone who feels tired, emotionally drained, disappointed, abandoned, or depressed can easily, easily be uplifted by the comforting promise of Jesus that he will give us rest. When we hear these words of Jesus, it feels like a hug from the Lord, 
a hug especially for all those who feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. His invite says, come to me, all you labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. And this is surely an invite that we cannot refuse. Because it is no secret that all of us have problems in life. Big or small, these problems burden us and make us sad, tired, and distressed. When people ignore us, or friends forsake us, and family is no longer dependable, we feel awfully hopeless. So what do we do to solve our problems? Where do we, who do we seek help from? Where do we go looking for comfort? There are many discomforting studies that show a lot of people turn to sleeping pills or dangerous drugs or drinking alcohol to forget their problems or to ease their pains. Others become violent and inflict pain on others. Some even resort to taking their lives to stop their suffering altogether. But here is the good news. To all those who are alone and are in need of someone to talk to, to those who, who have no one to ask for help, those who feel lost and lonely and hopeless, worry no more. There is someone to turn to, someone who can listen to our endless complaints, a shoulder to cry on, or even a punching bag. He is Jesus who says, come to me and I will give you rest. In the second part of his invitation in the gospel, Jesus says, take my yoke upon you. But then my dear brothers and sisters, when we hear these words of Jesus, it's quite possible our instant reaction to this invite might be, oh no, another yoke when I'm already overburdened, overwhelmed in life. But then, when we understand the concept of yoke, we can realize the yoke is not a burden to carry, but in fact, a relief from our own burdens. Yoke is a bar of wood made to unite two animals, usually oxen, enabling them to work on the farms, drawing heavy loads and pulling farm equipment. Farmers would yoke together the young animal with the experienced one to train them. What happens next is that the experienced animal would take the major load and the young one would be walking along and learning. It means the burden of the young one is reduced. The older one takes, takes over the weight of the whole work. And this is the picture, the picture of the yoke that Jesus is presenting us today. His yoke is a symbol of divine partnership. His yoke is a symbol of divine control. His yoke is a symbol of relief. His yoke is a symbol of hope for us. That means when we take the yoke of Christ, he strengthens us. Our burdens are no, no longer ours. He takes over, we feel refreshed. We feel urged even to do more in life as he blesses us more. My dear brothers and sisters, are we ready to take the yoke of Christ? And what it means to take the yoke of Christ, 
it means to build a relationship with Jesus. And how can this happen? We can invite Jesus to be our divine partner in our struggles when we take time to pray. We can invite Jesus to be our partner like the other animal on the yoke when we take time to read the scripture and understand. We invite Jesus to be our partner in our life struggles and strengthen us and help us through those struggles when we actively take part in the sacraments, especially the sacrament of the Most Holy Eucharist, sacrament of confession. These are the ways, my dear brothers and sisters, that we invite Jesus openly into our eyes, to our lives, to be our partners during these times of struggle. Instead of running everywhere else to solve our problems, we know for our own, from our own experience or from what we watch around us, people run to other source of comfort and pleasure by taking to sinful addictions, unpleasant habits, and unholy sources of pleasure. It's important to know, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus did not promise a burden-free life. He only promised a yoke that is easy and a burden that is light for those who lean on him. Today, the same Jesus is extending that invitation to all of us. Come to me. I will give you rest. However heavy your burden may be, I'm going to walk with you, partner with you, be with you, lead you through those struggles. Who else on the, in this universe can make this kind of a promise except Jesus who can do this for us? My dear brothers and sisters, life may be playing a joke on us by straining us with burdens and hardships. But the yoke of Christ gives us strength, rest, hope, and joy. And the choice is, where do we want to go? To Jesus or to the role which leads us into sin. Amen. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With humble trust in our loving Father, we bring to him our needs and petitions. For the church, may God help us in being meek and humble warriors for Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lead governments and communities, may the Lord grant them wisdom in serving their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who battle addiction and substance abuse, May the Holy Spirit grant them strength and fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those, for our faithful community, may the love of Jesus inspire us in taking up his yoke. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died this past week and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs within our prayer boxes, the needs expressed through the prayer chain, and for those held within the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of this Mass, including those for the repose of the soul of Joe Drexler, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, kindly look with favor upon the needs of your children brought to you in the name of Jesus, who is Lord forever and ever. As the gifts are being presented and the altar is being set, please sing our offertory hymn, number 675, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. That's number 675.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, Holy Lord, the font of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. The 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be courts to honor our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. But the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit here upon us, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
with the body and blood of Christ. Keep us safe for eternal life. Today's hymn for communion is number 346, Bread for the World. That's number 346. for all.
Todos tours, the faith formation during summer begins tomorrow. We have a team, who, the team of missionaries, who are going to lead Todos tours this week. So I now invite Dino to speak to us on behalf of the team. Thank you so much, Father, and thank all of you for welcoming us here to your beautiful parish. My name is Dino Piccinini. I'm a seminarian studying for the priesthood for our diocese. I'm also a teacher for the Totus Tuus summer program, as Father mentioned, joined here today by my fellow teachers, Jacob and Elizabeth. We're going to be running the Totus Tuus program here at the parish this week, both at this site and at the other site as well. Totus Tuus is a program that teaches catechism and the faith to children in uh, grades 1st all the way through 12th. And we take our name Totus Tuus from the motto of the late St. John Paul II, who took that as his motto because it means totally yours, showing how we want to belong totally to Jesus through our Blessed Mother Mary. In order to help facilitate this among the youth of the parishes that we visit, we take them through classes each week, as well as through the sacraments, through vocational discernment, Marian devotion, and all with a lot of fun mixed in as well. So for those who are interested and eligible for the program, perhaps you have a child or grandchild who you'd like to sign up, the program is going to run for the first through sixth grade during the day throughout this week. It's going to run Monday through Friday from uh, 9 in the morning to 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. It's going to include daily mass and a time for lunch as well. The price for that program is $35 per child for the whole week. The second program is for youth ages seven, or seventh grade rather, through, through 12th grade, and that is going to be in the evening. It's going to run from tomorrow night through Thursday, seven to 9 p.m. The price for that is $15 per student as well. Highly recommended for our youth. If you don't have any, any plans this week, uh, the evenings this week, you should definitely join up. And if you do have plans, you should cancel them because this is going to be a lot better. <laughs> Throughout the week as well, we're going to have Mass over at the Sacred Heart site at 11.15 a.m. Even if you don't have any child or grandchild in the program, we invite you to please join us for daily Mass this week. Um, it's a wonderful way to see the church full of, full of the youth who are a part of this program as well. Um, there's also going to be a parish potluck on 515 um, this coming Wednesday. All are welcome to attend that as well. Um, finally, please support us uh, with your prayers this week. That's the biggest way you can support us. We also have t-shirts we're going to be selling after Mass if you'd like to support us in that way as well. But prayers would be much appreciated as we enter into formation this week with the youth of the parish. Finally, as a seminarian for our diocese, I want to encourage you to keep praying for more yeses to the vocation of the priesthood and religious life among those in our diocese. Those prayers work. We actually just had a man ordained to the priesthood today, now Father Ben Primino, who's going to be serving down in the valley. Um, so the prayers work. Keep them coming. Thank you for all of your prayers, and please know that we're going to be lifting up the parish in prayer this week as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dino. But uh, the most important thing, as I kept saying for the past three, four weeks, it's so important that our children are educated in our Catholic faith, that they grow deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper in their Catholic faith. If today we do not take interest in, you know, getting our children deeper into our Catholic faith, you know what happens? The world will teach them its way. The choice is very simple, my dear parents and grandparents and the family members. Do we want our children to be led in the Catholic faith or do we want the world to lead them? This program is another great opportunity for our children to partner their life with the Lord. I gave specifically, kind of took a little more time to explain what does Jesus mean by that yoke? Jesus 
is partnering with us in our daily lives. We need to teach our kids to partner with Jesus primarily in their life. Otherwise, they are going to partner with somebody else, with something else in the world, which is dangerous. My dear brothers and sisters, make this opportunity available for your children and grandchildren. And I wish to see all our children at this program. And thank you for the team for being with us, for helping us, and we assure you of our prayers. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Our closing hymn for today is number 746, God of Our Fathers. That's number 746.